Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Singh and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'll be talking about for loops. Loops in general are very important in programming. So let's get started. To write the for loop, it will look like this. So in for loops, we will always have an initialization, a condition, and an updation. Now le let me explain what I mean. In for loops, we will always have three things inside. This is the first, this is the second, and this is the third. And they are separated by two semicolons. Now, this means that the variable i will have the value of 0 at first. And after it finishes what's inside this for loop, it will increment by 1. i++ plus plus means an incrementation by 1. So at first it is 0, and after it finishes the loop, it will increment by 1. And let's say the condition is 5. So we so we'll continue the loop over and over and over again until more and equal to 5. So let me just write something. So if I print this out, As you can see, this gets printed out five times. Now let me explain why. The first time it gets printed out is because i is zero. And the second time is because i is one, third is i is two, fourth is i is three, and the fifth is i is four. And i is five is not allowed because when i is five, it will be equal to to 5, it will be equal to this condition. When it is false, the whole loop will break. Now, instead of incrementation, we can also reduce i by 1. So, let me show you what I mean. We can also put i is 5, and we can put i is more equal to 0, and this will just be, then i will just decrement by 1. So, if we run it again, the same result will be produced. But at first, i will be 5, and then i will be 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. And if it tries to repeat it again, i will be negative 1. But since negative 1 is smaller than 0, so the for loop will then break. Now let me show you something which I think is quite cool. Instead of using numbers to be values to be stored in i, we can also use a character. Let me show you. We can use i is a. And we print this out. You can see that that 26 yo will be printed out from i is a to i is z, which I think is quite cool. We can also do the opposite, so we can put as i is z and i is more equals to a, and just decrement i by one. And if we print it out, the same thing gets produced. So that's it for this video. In my next video, I'll be talking about arrays which will be quite important. Thank you for listening. See you next time.